everybody, it's Lance and Curtis coming to you from Austin, Texas once again. Hi, Kurt. What's happening, man? Well, I'll tell you what's happening. What's happening is really kind of making me excited and happy because Joel Danzig, who's a friend of mine, uh, you might remember him from his days at Hamer. He was the Hamer guy. So uh, Joel's making a new line of guitars called Danzig Guitars. This is called a Tulsa. And it is a beautifully carved guitar. And it's got John Grail pickups in it, these P90s. And I got to tell you, the guitar sounds like a bell. It just rings out and it just sustains forever. And I'm very thrilled uh, to take this back a bit. In the 80s, I was a huge fan of Joel's work at Hammer. And unfortunately, in the 80s, I couldn't afford any of his guitars and didn't have any. But a lot of my friends did. And I always coveted those guitars. And then one day I opened for Cheap Trick and I got to see all of the great Hammer guitars that Rick had, including the five neck guitar that Joel built for him. And just uh, the, the craftsmanship, the artistry, and even the sense of humor on those guitars really just blew my mind. So Joel had sold Hammer and had moved away and he was like doing his own thing and he wasn't really building guitars. And then people said, Joel, we have to have you build guitars. And Joel reluctantly agreed after someone threw piles of money at him. And now he's building these guitars. So uh, this one sounds unbelievable. It's a neck pickup right now, watch. <laughs> African limba body. Look at the back of that. Woo! That is gorgeous. And the neck joint is so comfortable, you can get all the way up. It's got a, a custom wraparound tail piece. It's got volume, volume, tone, tone, like a normal setup. And what has been blowing my mind about this thing is just the craftsmanship and the sustain. I keep saying that, but it's amazing. The fingerboard on this is the uh, Brazilian board. The neck feel for me is perfect the the just the whole ergonomic feel of the neck just kind of blows my mind so i want to show you what it sounds like uh with a little gain on it too right now all we had was a reverb this is the reverb on from a fat jimmy amp this is a uh, a jimmy jr and uh you've heard the neck position so far on the guitar so we're going to play the neck position and then maybe turn a little gain on too <laughs> Gain now, please. Bridge pickup. As you can tell, this thing sustains like crazy. And the fret work, the fit and finish on the guitar is all what you would expect from something that Joel handmade. Now these are, you know, you can get these from the mid threes to the 45-ish and up zone, depending on how crazy you want to get. And I was talking to him today about some of the uh, crazy stuff that he's able to do. He's got some Charlie Christian pickups that'll blow your mind. Uh, he can do these guitars. These are super lightweight. 
and they sound like a million dollars. You can always tell when I play something for too long between talking that I'm kind of turned on by it a lot. And I would actually love to steal this guitar because it's ergonomically incredible. It sounds unbelievable and it just plays like a dream. Uh, these pickups, I'd never heard these pickups before. Apparently this guy's a little bit reclusive uh, and Joel knows him really well and um, gets these pickups from him and I've never heard a P90 that quite did what this did. So the signal path that you're hearing today, just before we finish out here, is the Danzig Tulsa Guitar Chambered P90s Carina, beautiful flame top. You got a Brazilian board, you know, Look at the back, just gorgeous. Hold that, and hold that steady for me. The back is gorgeous. I'm gonna get that nice and slow so we can see the beautiful wood tones. It's worth taking a moment on. We need Carol Merrill from, you know, the TV show to go like this. This is so pretty, right? Is it the, was it the prices right now? Wheel of Fortune, right? Wheel of Fortune, yep, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Care. Yeah, so also uh, signal path, just so you guys know, very simple. Uh, I was using the Fractal FX8 for the gain. That has a really good fuzz in it I'm using. And uh, Fat Jimmy amplifiers Jimmy Jr. And we'll talk about that in a different video. But uh, this Tulsa is mind-blowing. You should get this from Destroy All Guitars. Cliff's carrying these right now. And I want to play just a little bit more out here, and then we're done with this guitar for today. But I don't know that I'll ever actually send it Cliff. He won't get it. <laughs> One other thing, the tone control on the treble position does this really cool thing. It almost like a cock wah thing. I'm going to turn this down and show it to you. Watch. Stop the sustain on that guitar. That is incredible. Dan's a guitar. It's getting through Cliff. Call him and he'll say, destroy all guitars. And you'll talk to him about Joel's guitars. Yeah, Joel's a great go. guy. All right, guys. Have a good day. Kurt Lance out. See ya.